All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, functional programming, implement the filter method on a prototype. All right. So we might learn a lot about the filter method if we implement our own version of it. It's recommended that we use a for loop or the for each method. We're going to use a for loop, just like the other one. Uh, so we're going to write our own filter method, my filter, which should behave exactly like the filter method. Uh, we should not be, pardon me, we should not use the built-in filter method. And the array instance can be accessed in the my filter method using this. So it's just like the last one, uh, just a little bit different with this for loop, all right? So we're gonna say for let index equals zero while index is less than uh, this dot length. We're gonna say index plus equals zero, plus equals one. How about that? <laughs> All right. So after that, what we're going to do here is do an if statement. So we'll say if, and then we'll uh, run the callback function. So we'll say callback. And then for the parameters, we're going to use the same parameters like the last one. Uh, so we'll say this at index, comma, index, comma, this. All right. So the element, the index, and the array. And... If that's true, what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, new array dot push, and we're going to push the element in there. So we'll say push this at index, at index like that, right? And that should take care of business. Uh, let's come down here and do uh, the testing like we did last time. And we'll, we'll start with an array. We'll say uh, yeah, array. How about array? No, we'll say new. No, we already got new array right there. Let's call it. Uh, forget about it. Let's just do this. <laughs> Let's do console.log console.log. And we'll put this stuff in there right here. So we'll just uh, get this, the test that it's doing. Copy that. Put it in here. All right. And my filter, my filter, my filter, my filter. Okay. We put it in, I put it in in front of the parentheses. So let's take this and put it inside the parentheses. How about that? And then we'll come down here and do another console. Well, pardon me, console.log, console.log. And we'll put the other one as well. Uh, we'll put this one with uh, the array and index and all that stuff. And we'll copy that and we'll put it in here. All right. And so right here, we've got 23, 65, 5, and 13, and we're looking for what's odd. And so 98's not getting in there. And then right here, we're going to do uh, array.index of element equals index. So if there's repeats like this one, so uh, the index of this one of one will be zero. So one at one is not going to go in there. Uh, two, the index of two is two. And so uh, that one's going to go in. And five is going to go in there. But since this two is a repeat, this two is at index four. Uh, and the index of two is going to be two. It's not going to go in there. So we got one, two, and five like that. So now let's run the test. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to return part of an array using the slice method. And we'll see you next time.